director, Mr. John Van Orman, came to me and said, you know, I really would like to have an all-women's concert at the Ozark Folk Center, and I'd like to have an all-men's concert. Well, the men's concert lasted a couple years, but the women's concert has been going every year since that time. And it's always been my um, privilege to be able to emcee this program. It's always great being amongst all these women. You'll see women who you know have performed together before. You'll see different groups of women. As a matter of fact, there's going to be some debuts tonight, and we'll talk about that when they get here. A couple of the reminders, though, a little housekeeping, uh, I guess you'd say. If you've got a cell phone, and unless you're expecting an uh, emergency call, could you please do me a favor now and set that thing on stun so that uh, we'll... Mary made me say that. If you could just put it on, we would appreciate that. And um, if you want to sing along, just make sure you don't sing louder than the people on stage and make sure that your neighbor's not going like this. Too. Also, we're not going to um, have callbacks this evening because we have quite a full program and we want to give everybody a chance. So, sit back, relax. I'd like you to meet. Well, I have to confess, uh, there's a lady talking to onions in that verse for some reason. So. <laughs> Go figure, I don't know. Um, my name is Pam Setzer, and this is Miss Clancy Ferguson. <laughs> and we want to do a, this is a beautiful Irish song, and uh, we are, are missing one of our ladies this year. This is her first year to not be a part of this. And that's Robin Harrell. She loved this song. We're going to do that, this song in honor of her. Red is the Rose. <laughs> Clear. 
I'll be your true love forever. Red is a rose in yonder garden grows. There is a lily of the
Carter over there with the guitar singing. I thought, oh my goodness, what a wonderful, beautiful voice. And then I heard her sit down at the piano and play some tunes she had wrote. And she is quite the fine musician. And with her is Rachel Kemp. And Rachel um, is a little newer to the stage here, but it's probably going on about half a dozen years now, isn't it? Of course. Of course, I've slept since then. You know how it goes, Rachel. But I tell you what, if you've not heard that girl yodel, woo, you should come to Cowboy Weekend sometime and hear her yodel. She's on here again this year. So please make welcome Carolyn Carter and Rachel Kent.
Oh. Uh-huh. 
shape note singing tonight. And one of the shape notes is learning how to sing using notes that have a shape. Many people cannot read what we call traditional music with all the round notes. So they went to singing schools to learn how to read shapes. And I learned do, re, mi based on sound of music, so I never knew there were shapes that went with it. So the, we are learning, our music all has shapes rather than little round notes. So for instance, the do would be the shape of a triangle. Sol would be the shape of a sun or sol. And uh, mi would be the shape of a diamond. So this is what we're singing. So the first time we'll sing the piece through, we'll be using shapes, so it's going to sound kind of weird. And then we'll sing the verses that go with it. once they get out here. 
They call themselves the sound that a string makes. If you uh, thump on it, it goes twang. Isn't that why you girls call yourself twang? Uh, see? Didn't I tell you? So I think you're really going to enjoy them, and then they'll be back too later on in the program for our big finale. So please make welcome. Twang. was written by Cindy Lauper. Um, she played the dulcimer that was made here in Mountain View. And this is how we play Girls Just Want to Have Fun in the Ozarks. <laughs> Whisper, I love you. Bird 
birds singing in the sycamore tree. Dream a little dream of me. say a matriarch of the Ozark Folk Center and uh, old, she's old, okay, we'll just say it, she's old. She uh, started out here in the 1970s and is an extraordinarily great teacher. Um, she's taught the dulcimer, she taught all of us auto harp and banjo and mandolin and guitar, just a great teacher. 
And uh, in the middle, those of you who uh, saw Pam out here earlier, Pam maybe is not as old as Judy and I, but she's been around here a long time too. <laughs> Started out playing when she was five years old. And, uh, Made her first uh, stage performance here. We were talking about that somewhere around 13, I guess, when the Folk Center first opened. Yeah, so you smart. figure it out. We opened in 1973, now you'll know. So, and uh, Miss Tara Ludwig, when I first met her, she was singing with her sister and her daddy as a Sky family. And she's moved on to Conway now, and but comes back up and plays the banjo and does a really great job of framing. So, please make welcome Judy and Pam and Tara. I invited these beautiful ladies, my friends, to be with me tonight so we can do this in honor of Jean, Jean Jennings. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hope you enjoy it. Come all you fair and tender ladies. Karen said it's been about 22 years since we uh, sang together on this stage, and what a pleasure it is to be here tonight and see so many wonderful old friends and make some new friends. Uh, Mountain View holds a lot of special memories for me and for Tara both, and it's great to be back and have this time together and to get to sing with Miss Judy and enjoy all this great music. We hope you enjoy this one called Come All You Fair and Tender Ladies. like this behind stage and she was the, you know, rock scissor paper. So step right up here and introduce your game. And yourself. Okay. On the end here we have Allie Cornette. Mm -hmm. Next to her is Grace Smith. <laughs> Trini Sam. <laughs> Taylor Pitts. Morgan <laughs> Mitchell. And I'm Alex Prince. And we're the Sassy Stars.
call ourselves the 166 group. 164 group. Oh, see, I've already forgotten. And that is not the collective age of this group, believe it or not. <laughs> Judy and I are at least half that much together. <laughs> but if you've not met Mary Tangan Geiger down here on the office, works at the dulcimer shop and is very instrumental in putting together the uh, dulcimer gathering that happens right next to the Ozark Folk Center. That's always a wonderful thing. And you've met Pam. I see we're having some debuts going on. And even though Pam's been on this stage a lot in her life, she's never played the auto part on this stage at all in her life. So she's making her debut with the old auto part. And it was my first instrument. I used to haul it to school every day to practice. <laughs> it's backwards. It's backwards, yeah, just in case you didn't realize Pam is left handed. Turn around. It's like, turn around. So, Miss Judy, why don't you count us off here? We'll play a little red wing.
and away that home been gone a long old time again all my days in waste have flown Actually, I was the first third generation to work here at the Ozark Folk Center and um, had big shoes to fill. And Pop, he split shingles here during Harvest Festival, and he was a school mark. Mm -hmm. Ashton. Oh, yeah. Don't tell Pop. <laughs> <laughs> I was a school mark, yeah. and then Pop was a school master, but he's a lot more serious than I was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you all knew Pop, you knew that he was not serious. So we decided to choose a gospel too because Betty Ray um, has always been um, singing uh, in church songs, and uh, as Melody has too. So we'd like to do um, Whispering Hope. And at any point, if you'd like to join us, it's fine with us. All right. <laughs>
about the Carter family, but uh, A.P. Carter went around and, and collected lots of music and wrote it all down and preserved it for uh, generations to come, we always hope. And Miss Bess Kelly here, right in front with the guitar. Now, yeah, go ahead and give her a hand. Bess does some of the great original Carter family tunes, ones of Sarah and Mother Maybell and A.P. So, I know Bess that you're probably um, going to introduce the rest. You're not the person that learned to play the guitar from watching the television show, are you? Yes, yes she is. <laughs> I thought so. Now, there's a way to learn. Was it in color, Bess? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I said, was it in color? Because, I mean, I remember black and white. I bet you do, too. Well, it doesn't matter when you're learning the notes, though, now, does it? So, Everybody settled? We're money. Oh, more money. All right. Oh, by the way, if you want to know what else is going on at the Ozark Folk Center for the rest of our season, uh, we're well into November. Um, we have calendar of events in the back, or you can go to OzarkFolkCenter.com and you can look it up there, read all about our special events, um, download all the I do a lot of car and family songs. I really like her music. This is one. This is about an old love that's uh, returned after being gone a long time. They want to start up the relationship again. She says, no, it won't work. So, lovers return. Indeed. And so, you have come back to me. Yes. 
Ask me not, O gentle Savior, in the key of C. <coughs>
Then lay your darling down to rest Beneath the handing stone This box of pine will be her bed Till the angels take her home on the uh, court square. You can go down there and that's also where you'll find Shay and a whole lot of up and coming young musicians. She has taken bunches of them under her wing and uh, really really makes them practice too. She is stern and strict. So, y'all take it away. You know, we're, gonna, we're trying to come up with a name today. Menopausal Blues and the Cramps. <laughs> cramps on the bass. <laughs>
wedding today, and I tried to sing this. They wouldn't let me. So, she would not need my advice. I kept telling her, don't do it. Don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to do a song now. This was written by a, a lady named Fanny Clark, who lives over, or lived over at Fox, Arkansas. A beautiful song called Bluebird. And these ladies do some great twin fiddlers. Oh. What Sorry. care are we going to do it? Oh, boy. No, just kidding.
far away. You can leave and I will stay. I will stay with baby, oh, oh I will stay with baby, oh. number of years, many years back, 26 years. She uh, gardened, she worked in the uh, country kitchen, she put together all kinds of special events, she's made jewelry, and now she's, well, I can't say she's retired because she gardens like a whirlwind out there at Fox. That's Marion Spear. And Tina Marie Wilcox has been in the park for a lot of good years as well. People know her as the, uh, yep, yep, go ahead. Judy loves it. <laughs> Team Marie is our head gardener, um, herbalist here at the park. She's also a um, author and uh, writes a, day, a weekly column in the uh, Stone County Leader. So you might have read Tina uh, in the Leader. She also uh, has sang in many bands, and now she and Marion are the Urban League. So please make welcome Tina Marie and Marion. <laughs> songs are of course all about women because it's a women's concert and it's uh, various uh, places in life you'll recognize them. Some woman I know, she took my best friend, this joke got lucky, stole back again. I said you better come on in, into my kitchen, cause it's gonna be raining. Outdoors. Well, it's true, he's gone. Pass me the 
about us plenty. Now they changed their tune. They passed me the bottles empty. Oh, diddly day, oh dee diddly, oh day, oh that I was where I would be. Then would I be where I am not? Here am I, where I must be. Go where I would, I cannot. Oh, diddly day, oh dee diddly, oh day, through the woods I'll go. Come to my heart's desire. Oh, diddly day, oh dee diddly, oh day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then would I be where I am not. Here am I where I must be, go where I would, I cannot. Oh, diddly day, oh dee diddly, oh day. I know where I'm going, and I know who's going with me. I know who I love, but the devil knows who I'll marry. Oh, diddly day, oh dee diddly, oh day. Oh, that I was where I would be, then would I be where I am not. Here am I, where I must be, go where I would, I cannot. Okay. If the wild bird could speak, she'd tell the places you have been. She's been in my dreams and she knows all the ways of the wind. Polly, come home again. Spread your wings to the wind. I've been feeling the pain as it Cover much time, still they leave blind the will to begin. I searched for you there, and now look for you from within. Polly, come home again. Spread your wings.
Bring everyone out who's uh, some have brought instruments, some have, are going to dance, some are just going to stand, stay and clap, clap their hands. Now everybody stand close. Everybody's got to be in. We've got to be in this kind of arch, like half horseshoe thing of a jigger. Mark said. So there, I know there are more of them back there than that. I saw them all gathered up in the uh, hallway. Come on, come on. Hey, there we go. There we go. All right. All right. Oh, they're visiting, of course. <laughs> they always have to. Nope. Go ahead, Sassy Stomper. You all can come up and dance. All right, yeah, yeah. I knew there was a few more coming. All right, bunch up together now, bunch up together. They're always just like so nervous at the very end, you know? They come out here with all these performances. Okay, girls, excuse me, ladies. Woo! -hoo. Visiting, more visiting happening over here. Come on. <laughs> Gang up, gang up. There might be a photo opportunity fixing to happen here. So we want to make sure everybody's in there. All right, we got it. All right, we're going to have uh, Mary lead us off here. We've chosen a tune called Ragtime Annie Indeed. <laughs> Don't be walking down the road in the dark now. Take care.